I have been known to drink ridiculous amounts of coffee and tea on a daily basis. I once opened up a bin lid in our kitchen at the end of a working day, only to find a towering pile of 12 tea bags. I think Susie must have discovered our bin full of English breakfast at some point, as earlier this week she handed me a water bottle with timings marked vertically along its side. 250 millilitres between 8am and 9am, 250 millilitres between 9am and 10am, and so on. What we drink and eat can dramatically alter our health and well-being. The NHS recommends that we should drink six to eight glasses of water a day, as research shows that drinking a good amount of water can prevent common problems such as stomach pain, IBS, bloating, fatigue, overeating, high blood pressure, constipation, and even heart attack and stroke. Perhaps it's no surprise then, that David starts the Bible songbook with a psalm which connects the reading of God's word with living water. Knowing the physical health benefits even then, he connects the feeling of soothing water moving through our bodies with the refreshing nature of scripture spindrift pages. His vivid image of trees' roots taking up water via osmosis and ingesting nutrients to fill up its leaves via the bark's xylem is a powerful image of the role God's scriptures are to have in every nook and cranny of our lives, from our work to our friendships, from the use of our homes to our music making, from our fears and failures to our joys and festivities. Today, it's worth asking ourselves, does God's word affect every area of our lives? Psalm 1 makes me pause to ask the question, am I letting the living water of God's word reach every part of my body, heart, soul and mind, and allowing God's spirit to reshape and renew every area of my life? We need to top up on our daily water for our physical health throughout each day. Are we topping up our spiritual water bottles with the loving, kind and powerful words of Jesus? Let's meet with him throughout our days. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do and drink deeply from the fount of every blessing. Be encouraged. Even when the scenes around us seem like parched and barren land, Christ's living water is flowing. The nutrients of his grace and mercy are in abundance. And God, our Heavenly Father, longs to bring about bright and growing fruit in each of our lives.